Hi guys, Miss Marcy here. Hope you are all doing very, very good and you're staying safe at home. Uh, I'm glad you are joining me for this first uh, online class. And uh, we are going to be doing a very, very easy project today. It's just going to be a hot air balloon and we are going to be um, talking about the cool colors and the warm colors. Now for this project, uh, you only need a white piece of paper and if you have markers or crayons or oil pastels, whatever you have on hand, you can use for this, okay? So we are going to start with a big circle at the very, very top of your paper. Be sure that you don't do it in the middle because you need the space on the bottom for your basket, okay? So if uh, you want to make sure that you get the right size on your circle, you can make a fist, place it on the top of your paper, and then do a circle around your hand. Be sure that you don't go very, very close to your hand, okay? So, we are going to start on this side and we are going to start circle, big circle, go all the way around. And to finish your circle, you just have to take your hand off and close the gap, okay? So you should all have a big circle at the top of your paper to start with, yes? And uh, so once you have that, we are going to do our basket on the bottom. So find the middle of your circle, leave a space in between, right? Because our basket is not touching our hot air balloon. It has to be a little bit further down. So you are going to do uh, what shape will you be doing for this? A square, correct. So find the middle of your circle and let's do a small, square at the bottom. That will be our basket. Now guys, we are not going to be doing any texture on this or designs on the hot air balloon because uh, we're going to be doing something different. So just bear with me, okay? So once you have this, we are going to do two more lines. We're going to be drawing two more lines, okay? One of the lines is going to start at the very, very corner of your square and you are going to go towards the side of your circle. Now. These lines cannot be straight, okay? You have to have a little curved on it. They have to be a little curved lines. Barely, barely curved. So here we go. Starting on one corner, you are going to go up and curve that line a little bit and stop at the circle. See that? You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Start at the corner and just go up, curve it up a little bit and stop at the circle. Got that? So once you have this on pencil, guys, you are going to grab a marker and you are going to trace it over, okay? Then once you're done, we are going to uh, do something fun. We are going to be using a flowing line. Remember what that is? It's a very, very long line that flows, right? So we are going to be using music for this, okay? Now, I don't want you to get a little crazy with the lines, so we cannot have a lot of lines on our paper, okay? When I say flowing line, I mean that we're going to go like this, kind of like from one side to the other, okay? But we are going to be following uh, the rhythm of the music. So, uh, but also you have to do this with marker, you cannot do this with pencil, okay? So you cannot erase this after. So be sure that uh, you go very, very slow and you just flow with the music, okay? Ready? Yeah. So let's start going side to side first, okay? Start at the corner and go and flow. Make it flow, guys. Very, very slow. If you want to go out of your paper you can go out of your paper and then come back. See, it's just like, I'm just, it's like a wave. Now I'm going to go up again, from the bottom up, and then I may go down. And that's about it. 
That's all the lines, all the spaces that I need, okay? See how once you did that, you get all these different spaces, right? So each one of these spaces is going to be colored with a different um, color. Now, you are going to choose if you want to do cool colors for the background, warm colors for the hot air balloon. It's up to you, okay? So, uh, but the thing is that every space has to be a different shape. Like, for example, uh, I'm going to do blue on my background, right? So all these different spaces are going to be a different kind of blue or a different shade of blue or a different warm, uh, cool color, okay? Okay, guys, so we are ready to start coloring our hot air balloon. I have all these different cool colors right here all these different shades of blue some purples i may use some greens because those are cool co uh, cool colors as well so remember your cool colors uh, are any shade of blue any shade of green any shade of purple right and your warm colors are going to be all the colors related with fire right so uh yellow orange red so here we go. I'm going to start with my background and I'm going to start using my shades of blue, okay? So a good way of doing this is uh, maybe tracing your spaces first or each space as you go so you don't go to, to the other uh, space, right? So I'll be tracing, for example, this space first and then because I need to use a different color for this, for this space. Okay, here we go. So this is a good idea uh, if you want to kind of like outline your space first so you don't go to the other space and then you just start coloring this, okay? I'm going to go kind of quick guys, but you don't have to do it this fast, okay? Now again, you can do this with marker, crayon, color pencil, it's up to you. It just looks very, very nice when it's done. Okay, now I can use this same color uh, somewhere else on my background, but not just, uh, I cannot use it like <clears throat> very, very close to this color, okay? It cannot be touching this color or this space. So I might use it here because in between my circle and my basket, I have this space, which is background as well, okay? So you can start going like that. I'm going to use another shade of blue, which is a cool color, and I'm going to just go ahead and do it here. Now, you do not have to outline your spaces if you don't feel like it. I just kind of like to do that. Okay, there we go. And that's the way that you are going to just keep going all the way, guys all the way see this is another warm uh, cool color space in my background so you're going to do all your uh, the whole background first and then you can go ahead and start on your hotter balloon which is going to be the warm colors right so here we go Now you can uh, pause the video and go ahead and start coloring your hot air balloon. I'm going to do that to see all these different shades of red, orange, yellow that you can use. This is going to look so nice. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoy coloring your hot air balloon. This is how mine looks. It's kind of like an abstract hot air, hot air balloon using warm and cool colors. Um, thank you for joining me in the first I Love Art Studio online class. I'm going to try and go live next time and see how that goes. But in the meanwhile, keep doing art. Keep sending me all the beautiful projects that you're working on uh, these days. They really lift my heart and uh, I'm going to try and post them on Facebook as well. So um, hope to see you soon and stay safe.
keep creating.